Uh-oh. Hey, everybody. We got hard troubles. Sorry about the wait. Uh, we may have technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. Well, I got my new ring light. Oh my gosh, everybody's here. Hi, everybody. I missed so much chat. I'm so sorry. Barrr, Margie. Barrr. Pockets. Did Peter have a lovely birthday? Julie and Laura, the injured duo. How you doing, my friends? Farrington. How you doing, Farrington? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Peggy, you're so sweet. It wasn't Peggy. It was Margie reading chat and I was reading Peggy. Thank you, Margie. And Nana's here and Elizabeth K and my L. Hi, L. I haven't talked to you forever. Giovanna, hi. Oh my gosh. Anybody I missed? Hi, everybody. And thank you for thumbs up, even though I wasn't here. That's fabulous. I don't get any thumbs down when I'm not here. I think I've discovered the secret of not getting thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth, that's the thing. That's why I was late and it might be the demise of creepy baby for the evening. I got my new ring light, which is fabulous. Look at the light now. Solve the light problems. Hey, Elaine. But uh, for some reason it's vibrating. I mean, I can't even see it vibrating, but that's what ma is making the camera do that. Oh, Pockets, that's such a nice, nice birthday present. And the camera is scared. I don't, I, I don't know how to fix it. There's no way to fix it. Well, Mark's going to have to take the whole apparatus apart. I recorded yesterday and it wasn't doing this. I don't know why it's doing it now. Nana, come knock on my front door. You people can knock on my front door anytime. Hey, fishy face. That's me touching the camera. I was sending it brain waves to stop vibrating. Sorry. It did, Elizabeth. I tried that, but the camera, it's like it's a ring light. So the camera's inside and they're attached by the same thing. But yes, L, great minds think alike because I tried that. I turned off all the fans in here. I turned off the air conditioner. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think it's its clampy device. It wasn't the most expensive setup. Well, I mean, it was like $100. I, it wasn't free. <laughs> well, we'll try it. Let's see. The other thing about it is the easy on off button. Not so much. Oh, I just changed the color of the light. Yep. So now the light is off. Yep. That was me turning off the light. I know you guys. I... Oh, yep, there's the light. <laughs> I turned the light off. Um, I recorded yesterday and it didn't vibrate. I don't know why it is now. Earthquake. Creepy baby in the dark. Well, it stopped, didn't it? Oh, no, Karen Sue. No vertigo. Oh, no. Don't be scared of the dark, Margie. We're here. It is still, but there's that whole, you know, it's dark and my other crappy lights are gone. Oh, it's Beauty Queen's birthday. Elizabeth, I knew it was coming, but for some reason I thought it was um, next week. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love that, right? Margie, yeah. Oh, no, that was Peggy. Wow, Peggy and Margie are interchangeable this evening. That's terrifying. Hey, Eileen. I got a new light, but it is wiggly. <laughs> so now we're in the dark, but we're not going to make you sick anymore. Dark is creepy. It's true. Hey, Gail, Brenda, no one breathe. I can't believe she is 24. Boy, isn't it flying? My little art major was just uh, paid for a de set design commission. That's pretty exciting. She's a big girl. 
right pockets <laughs> beauty queen's mom is only 29 all right let me turn on my weird lights and see i'm so sorry you guys i don't know why it started vibrating like that i was so excited because we had such good light uh, oh whoa whoa not so much i know is that exciting laura she um it, for a marching band her partner uh plays all of the musician mu musicians musical instruments in marching band but mostly um directs and victoria choreographed all their moves and did the set design so that was super cool she's done it for a couple of years now but not an official an official capacity Take the batteries out of what, L? All right, well, I guess we're just going to go back to super crappy lighting. And I'm going to try not to touch the desk too much because I don't want anything to wiggle. Technology. Meh, can't live with it. Can't throw it out the door. Thanks, guys. What did you do with Beauty Queen? Oh, L. <laughs> yeah, and I can barely see down here. I can see better you know, through the camera. So God knows what's going to happen down here. But look, I got the, I got the hinges made. I thought I, I promised I would do them early so they would have time to dry. And they seem to be sticking okay, Eileen. Eileen, you troublemaker. I used Fabri-Tac, so we'll see. Maddie and Madison, welcome. All right. We're having some technical issues, Maddie. So don't look at the screen too carefully because it might make you sick. We're going to get this one done today by gum. All right. So I just got my whole pile of stuff to play with here. I assume because it's really dark and I can't see it. We got it. Uh, these rosettes have got to go on there somehow. Petty cheese board and had some nasty wine. All right. Hibachi for dinner and prezzies. Sweet. It's all right, Eileen. It will be all right, Eileen. <laughs> AK, haven't seen you forever. Welcome. How nice of you to come. Right in the middle of technical difficulties. I left the button out so we'd remember to put some buttons on. Buttons. All right. So we have this stuff. We'll put it over there. Remember to grab the uh, um, Stabilo pencil. Boy, my brain is shot. I am just goofy. Just going through my stuff here, trying to squint my eyes and see what it is. Little red wagon. Creepy friend. That's Carol, right? I was just saying my brain's not right today, and I could be so wrong. And we're so glad to see you. Hey, Sandra. Oh, nasty wine coolers. Nothing says happy birthday like a nasty homemade wine cooler. Renee, it's not even close to Carol. I knew that. I'm so sorry. Good grief. All right. So we have all this yumminess going on. Yeah, I can see so much better through the camera. It's like six inches in front of my face, and it's so dark. I can't really see it that well. Guess we'll find out how spooky it's going to be. Yeah, the chat's kind of flying, you guys. So if I missed you or just called you by the wrong name, I apologize. Mark and I went out and did all kinds of errands today and going to the out is hard now. I knew that Renee, I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, Walmart about killed me. And I looked for some cool fabric to go behind our, you know, in the back of our wardrobe and still didn't find anything that told me it was exactly right. So we just won't glue it down yet. Because whatever we put down is going to peak a little bit. I guess we could paint it black, couldn't we? Or red, dark red. Yes, I would love a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Whatever works for you. Eileen, that means a thumbs up. I'm speaking to you. Oh, yeah, Margie the out for two months. That's going to hurt when you go. Thanks, Sandra. 
Yeah, Renee, you know what it is? Is Mark does most of the errands and stuff. And so I just don't go out that much. And I had stuff to do. And uh, hey, Janice, a spidery background. We have some spider webs in our um, collage. You can't really tell because of the bad dark lighting. <laughs> a hello, fishy face. I said hello already. A piece of antique wallpaper. <gasps> Uh, what about Tim Holtz wallpaper? Yes, Julie, up against the wall, you read. No, that's wrong. I don't want a copyright infringement. So, of course, you do. The back of the closet. I did, Carla. Well, I wanted to go out. It, sadly, it was dump day, which is never my favorite. Um, but the guy who is at the transfer station is so funny. It wasn't bad. And once in a while, I like to go to Walmart and look at every single thing. Um, I don't know why, because, well, Walmart's kind of the only game in town here in terms of a big chain store like that. Um, and I was looking for something. I don't remember. Oh, white spray paint. I had to go to get white spray paint, and I'm looking for wall the, the to hold wallpaper, you guys. Um yeah, us too, Renee. But we're doing, you know, Knockwood, we're doing pretty well in the numbers. We wear our masks. Um, the places up here are really enforcing the masks. Um, I think, you know, if someone really gets ugly about not wearing one, they don't force them to. But overall, I think people are being good about it. Oh, here it is. Sorry if I'm missing chat, guys. I'm rifling through my own belongings. But I have a super fun project that I think I'll probably record tomorrow that required spray paint. I think you guys will like it. Oh, no. Elle, you still have a Forever 21? The one up here closed. All right. Tim Holtz wallpaper, you guys. I can't see if it's going to... Ooh, ooh, maybe this is it right here. <laughs> this is kind of gray and black, right? I'm holding it up to the, to the window. <laughs> We got a whole new thing going here. It could be baby. It's crafting in the dark. Oh, Sandra, really? Yeah, Laura, I think they might be in chapter 13. Yeah, it is sad. There. <laughs> I, I'm not telling Nana. Nope. Nope. But if you're looking for a solution to store your napkins, um... I may have a solution. Well, I'm sure I didn't invent it because, you know. Oh, Candy, you lost your Tuesday morning. Yeah, we didn't have one to lose. Ugh. Hey, Karen. Oh, Renee, that's hard. That's lovely, Sandra. Uh, people are really showing their gentle sides, aren't they? What's wrong with your internet, Elle? All right, um, my darling Julie Average, tell us what happened. Julie's hat. Fishy face came to the right conclusion. Look at that. Yeah, it always sucks at your house. I'm sorry about your internet. Karen, laughing dogs is Laura. Oh, see, it only shows through a couple places, but it's kind of super cool. And I love that it's gray. Yep. Should we try another color just for fun? How many of you or your parents or grandparents had exactly this design somewhere? Good for you, Pockets. <laughs> oh, I saw your, your comment earlier. I just didn't have time to say anything about making a list of everything you're going to get and then you don't go out. Oh, Julie. Oh, no. You broke your elbow. I can't even imagine how much that hurts, you poor thing. Laura lost a crown. Oh, I don't know, you guys. I'm glad I tried this one because I might like this better. <sighs> yeah, Janice. <laughs> They're called old, old wallpaper. It's true. Oh, you're going to the Olympics and dog vaulting? 
and no dogs were hurt in the making of your video? Oh no, dengue fever. That's right, Sandra, another weenus bites the dust. Oh, oh, but that's not funny. <laughs> Poor Julie, not laughing at your broken elbow, but anytime anyone says weenus, you know we have to laugh. <laughs> nope, don't think it was the crown on her head. No Rona on the ocean. Good. Oh, my goodness. Well, Karen, I'm glad you got it back. Julie, you scolded him. Well, that's better than punching him right in the face for being in the way. <sighs> Laura's all zonked out on painkillers. <laughs> you were hinking weenus as well? Margie, don't hink your weenus. Dengue is from the Skeeters. Hey, Jean. Oh, my goodness. I loved my happy mail, Jean. That uh, Jean Moran sent me lavender from her garden that's dried, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it smells so good. And I'm not um, sharing it, Jean. I know you said to make sachets for the retreat, but I'm going to sniff it all up before then. I'm going to sniff all the smell out. Karen, I don't remember that. And I love friends. <laughs> sure. It was the keyboard, Margie. Hinking weenus sounds very painful. And it sounds like it is a condition that may take medication. This show is not for children. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pardon me, you guys. I'm so sorry. Jean, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. And I love my bag of glitter. I'm a lavender sniffer. You bet. I don't like things that are lavender scented, Margie, but real lavender makes me very happy. Thanks, guys. I've been sneezing all day. All kinds of pollen in the air, you know. All right. So what do we think? Do we? I kind of like the pink and blue wallpaper, I think. I mean, it's dark. Here, I'll, I'll show again. I'm leaning towards the pink and blue. Here's the black and gray. Oh, I don't know. Oh. You got some two pockets. Aren't we lucky? Yeah, I'm really sniffy. I'm sorry, Margie. Thanks, Jean. I don't know, guys. Janice votes gray. I need a lavender Kool-Aid, yeah. Okay, Elle likes the gray. I like the gray. There we go. I'm taking it. Oh, Karen likes the gray. Gray wins. Cool. Okay, so let's glue that down. He already sniffed all the goodness out of him. <laughs> Too late, Margie. You got voted off the island, Margie. Get out. Just kidding. Um. Oh, Julie. Hey, Lucy, welcome. Oh, I bet it is. I've had lavender cupcakes that were absolutely fabulous. I'm sorry, Margie, but look, we're going to put a pink dress on it just to make Eileen uncomfortable. So we'll, we'll get pink in there. Well, yeah, Lucy. Oh, does that mean I can just go run right over and throw Jean's lavender in my Kool-Aid? Gary. Okay, Karen. Don't take, don't take your ball and go home, Margie. We need you to be here. Uh, my Julie Average, I saw advertised that um, Panera's new menu includes a prickly pear fresca. Um, yes, thank you. You didn't care for them, Farrington? Margie's just being a big old baby. She's staying with me. <laughs> fine. I don't want to stay, but I will. I know Julie, right? 
I love prickly pear anything. And it was prickly pear something. I don't remember. Um, Fresca, but it sounded absolutely delicious. Yes, it is, Carla. And the nectar is fabulous. When I took the kids to Tucson to visit my parents a number of years ago, um, man, they could not get enough of prickly pear everything. Lemonade in particular. Lots of lemonade. Are you still having a hard time finding Fresca? My uh, my supermarket is on to me, man. We got we got Fresca coming in, and a, a stupid Walmart has it too. Maybe they just know I live here now. That's good of them, isn't it? <laughs> really, Farrington? And where do they grow? Oh. I, I can I can read typo, Julie. I'm here for you, babe. Nana. Jules Journals, Julie introduced me to Fresca and Gin at the road show. And oh my God, it's delicious. Mark just made one for me. Fresca and Gin. Do you, Julie? <laughs> Still as good as when you were a kid, Nana. What's LaCroix, Farrington? <coughs> oh, Renee, I bet that is good. Sorry, and then I just swallowed funny. <coughs> That's right, Brookie's Kool-Aid. Do they? I didn't know they grew in Texas. Everything grows in Texas, right, Carla? It was. Fresca, gin, roadshow, it was heaven. Ah, uh, we're still talking about a cat, but look, I'm gluing right now. Oh, Julie must be going to make a gin and fresca. Or she's running to Panera to get prickly pear fresca. <laughs> she's going to hold them up for all their fresca. This bottle was getting towards empty, so I had it stored sort of at an angle. And it was just covered. It volcanoed out from under the cap. It went everywhere and hardened into this weird ball around the lid. But I'm bound and determined to get the last bit out. Because Fabri-Tac is kind of spendy, and these little bottles, terribly spendy. Oh, all right, Julie. Take care of that elbow, honey. We love you. Feel better. If you need us, let us know. All right. Ha-ha. Before I smoosh this down, I guess I better make sure it's in the right place, huh? We love you, Julie. Don't do any spider hunting. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. I looked at it like three times. It's not upside down, is it? Is it a choice? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we're okay. All right. So we can we, we can glue some pages together. Yep. Brain's not working right. Go into the out. It was scary. It was the biggest glue booger ever, L. It was like a science fiction version all right, so I think I will use my perfect or my uh, art glitter glue to do the pages. I don't know why. I don't think it really matters, does it? Except that the fabric tack was kind of hard to um, squeeze out. So we'll just get these pages done. Put a little glue on the back of the outfits. We don't want anyone going anywhere. So what has everybody else been up to, you rascally rabbits? Anything exciting going on in anyone's shops or channels or lives that we should know? Anything that you want to share with the crowd? And I forgot to say, because I always do, if you're watching this later, this is a live stream with live people in the chat. And welcome. We're so glad to have you. It's not intended for children. And uh, if you have a good time, please feel free to click the like button and subscribe down below. Did I do that right, Kathy Berg? You're watching stuff, Margie. Are you crocheting these days? You're working on your door caboodle. Uh, Rosemary went on yesterday with a tutorial, right, Pockets? Oh, Carrie, I bet that does give you a headache. Ooh. 
oh, yes, that would be lovely. We love lurkers, but if you don't mind coming out of hiding long enough to throw a thumbs up, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Been to some sales on happy paper people? Margie, what does this mean? You were there in the back of the class? <laughs> well, because you were probably causing trouble pockets. Knowing you. Have you guys seen the um, violin that Christy Biddleston has finished for the Defy auction? I think that's tomorrow. No, day after tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Candy. Rosemary's on tonight. A group on Facebook. <laughs> Karen is a wascally wabbit, and she's been safe in the house. Good woman. Ah. Good, Carrie. Just enough to give you a whopper of a headache. That violin is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, she's a she is quite an artist, that one. And to put that much time and effort in is incredibly generous. Um, 87 Laura, the Jersey crafter, is just doing a an unbelievable bunch of dangles for the auction as well. All very, very cool. All right, so this is our last page in this layer. I didn't think this through. I hope we were ready to actually glue, were we? <laughs> Margie, no. No, you did not say face, but. Karen, I think I heard someone say something about a Stamperia contest. What is it? I don't know. Whoa. Pockets, the idea of the acetate was brilliant. Loving it. Oh, Margie's all excited. We are ready now to glue. Well, it's a good thing, huh, Al? Well, yeah, of course it would, Farrington. Okay, um, Care Hart does an auction. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Stupid allergies. Uh, it does an auction for Disabled Artist Foundation. Do you suppose one of you lovely moderators could go and find, I know they're starting at, on CARE's channel. Would you guys mind finding a link? That would be delicious of you. Hey, CB. How you doing, girl? It's so good to see you. Yep, allergies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yours already did, Margie. Don't fib. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use this clip. Let's give this a little pressure while it's drying. Oh, you know, good, Kay. Yep. Yes, not the Rona. It is allergies. I'm pretty sure I already have the Rona, Carrie. I'm pretty sure we had it in February. Oh. Margie. <laughs> oh, Margie. Wow. Cool. And Stamperia stuff is so beautiful. Oh, thanks so much, Fishy Face. A summer round robin contest. I don't even know what that means. I'm looking for my other clamp, you guys. I think I stole it when I was binding stuff last night. Ah, I found it. It was hiding. All right, so we'll get some good pressure on those pages. Hopefully they'll get good and smooshed while they're drying. All right, so we are looking pretty good. Are we ready to put this door on? Oh, CB, Fishy Face is uh, Perfectly Imperfect Crafts, and that's Cat. Oh, no, L, your linker fluid is low. That's bad. That's not good. Oh, and I didn't even give you credit, Alora. Give Fishy Face all the credit. Thank you, Alora. 
Okay, notifications are just weird. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. Not yet, what, Elaine? I'm actually looking down at what I'm doing a little bit. bit. Groups, every two days a winner from each group, then they move on. Cool, thanks, Karen. Thank you, Carrie. Hopefully, you got her into shape. Pockets has a slow leak. Oh, dear. Oh, yep. Try that, Kay. If you unsubscribe, wait a bit, then resubscribe and hit the bell again. Sometimes that will start bringing you um, notifications again. Hey, Kay. How the grandbabies? <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Yeah, wicked stuff. You're not kidding. Good for you, Karen. Is that what you're sending me the picture of? Post it on the Facebook group. We'd all love to see it. Congratulations. There's some mad talent. Ooh, Elaine, that sounds good. All right, so are we... Um, are we set to glue our, our door on? Our door on? <clears throat> there's so much pollen the uh, hot tub has like a because there are windows over it and the hot tub just has a skin of pollen on it Mark is in there cleaning it every half an hour it's making him insane <laughs> Nana nope Nana I only have one working eye <laughs> No, I was talking to you, Kay. Beautiful struggle, Kay. Oh, oh no, you meant when we were explaining to Kay about defeat or unsubscribing. All right, are we ready to put this on yet? And then we can collage or should we? What do we do? What do we do? So excited. The hinges are fabulous. I'm so excited about the wallpaper for the back of the wardrobe. Oh, thanks, Karen. I'd love to see it. Thanks, Melissa. And we love lurkers. I'm so glad you came out. If you're a lurker, you know that we're all um, nuts. It is, Karen. And it's, or Carla, it's not even a hot tub now. It's a cold tub. And man, does that feel good when it's been so hot and humid. <laughs> Cool. All right. So that's how we're going to do the hinges, right? So that it opens this way. Do we want it to open that way? Is that what we decided? Oh, no. Maybe we want it to open the other way. Do you guys remember? Karen, that's Renee. I tried to call her Carol because my brain fell out earlier. Do you guys remember which side we wanted to put it on? I think I kind of want the hinges on this side to start reducing some of the bulk uh, in the um, gutter. <laughs> there you go. Right in the gutter with, with Farrington and Margie. Yeah, no, I think we should probably do it on this side. Are there any objections? Do I hear any objections? Then do we cut out our creepy baby? Hinges on the left candy? Yeah, I think so. No, it really wasn't, Laura. My brain wasn't there to fall out. I lied. Cool. All right. I don't remember. Were we going to put the creepy baby over here with a skeleton? Objections overruled. Oh, pockets. Just don't get under the creden credenza. Happy paper people, we were just talking about you. Hey, Marianne. Welcome. Yeah, no, Laura, I lied. I have no brain. I guessed right. It is Marianne. <laughs> Welcome. All right, so we're going to fussy cut, fussy cut the baby and put the baby over here. Is that what we're doing? I'm going to fussy cut. Here we go. I'm going in. That's going to be interesting, as dark as it is. You like the baby with the skeleton candy? 
We haven't. Oh, thanks, Margie. And Marianne, yeah, that was rude. Welcome. We're so delighted you're here. I know, right? <laughs> but usually with me, not so much. We're having some technical difficulties, Marianne. So we've started a new thing that's crafting in the dark. I can barely see what's going on on my screen, um, but actually in front of me in person, it's really dark. So I'm gonna be fussy cutting in the dark. Maybe that will improve my fussy cutting skills. Now you guys be nice and chat because I can't look up, I'm using sharp things and you know the rules. I'm not allowed to look at chat when I'm using sharp things, even with my eye on a stalk. All right. I believe this fabulous creepy baby came from the lovely Debbie Epps. Oh, no, it didn't. It came from T. I think. I wrote it on the back. I can barely fuzzy cut in broad daylight. You're not kidding, Margie. That's all right. You know what? Oh, I didn't lop the baby's ear off. That's a... A good thing. Um, we'll ink up the edges when we're done. So if anything has gone a little askew, that will mask it immediately. It'll be all good. So I have one more video coming out. I'm still not looking at chat. You guys be good. I have one more video coming out on the Christmas in August, July journal. Do we want to leave that thing under like what she's sitting on? I don't mind fussy cutting, Marianne. I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> yeah, you never have to be nice. <laughs> well, I got a ring light, Marianne, because I live, well, in a fairly new house for me. And my lighting was just, we couldn't get it right. And so uh, my partner bought me a ring light, which is uh, phenomenal. But once my camera was mounted in it, my camera had the tremors. So I spent like 15 minutes making everyone want to vomit. And then we decided just to craft in the dark. Because what the heck. I'm sorry, what, Renee? I <laughs> get it. Ears are overrated. Just kidding. No, you can't be less salty, Farrington. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, well, you know what, Marianne, if it turns out I lop a head off or something, I just move on. No, Miss Phenomenal. I kind of like the baby, it, well, because it's probably a dead baby. It's leaning on something. That's right, salt to live. Yep, we won't know it's you, Farrington, if you're not salty. Sheesh. She's still having a nice day, it sounds like, Carrie. That's right, just lay her over it or throw it away. You know, there'll be something else to cut out. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that. We got our quote. We're gonna put this down. We'll have, I'm not so sure about the dress now, you guys. Uh, yes, layering and paint. You know, it's just paper. That's right, Margie, thank you. I can't believe that, Farrington. Oh, thanks, Carrie. Should we just put... You know what I'll do, maybe? Uh, I keep trying to put something behind the skeleton like I didn't freak it, glue, freaking glue it down already. Hey, Jennifer Jane. Welcome. Lucy's here, too. Two of my Canadian friends. Uh-oh. Kay, we're, the secret's out on Kay now. I'm just tearing this, you guys, because I'm thinking just for a little weird contrast because we have all those bright colors in the closet. I think I'm, oh, I think I like that there. What do you guys think? Oh, but then the baby's kind of floating. Oh, cause then this part of the baby's floating. <clears throat> what do you guys think? It wasn't, it, um, Candy, we used a different piece instead. So we've got five pieces in there and this was a leftover, this one was. We saved it in case we needed it. Put it under the baby's feet. 
Now the baby extra, now it looks like it's on a flying carpet. Seriously, Margie? Draw a line under it for an anchor. That's right, Candy. So what is a creepy baby, a floating baby? Oh, cat, what a nice idea. Hey, Angie, welcome. Hmm. Well, that's all right, Kay. We still love you and all your tens of grandchildren. You guys, Kay has no grandchildren. I'm yanking her chain. Really? You like you guys like it up higher instead? All right. Vote up or down. Jennifer, ready for Halloween. Isn't that sweet, Angie? Okay, <laughs> I can't help it. You know, I just can't let a joke go. I'm so obnoxious. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue this down while we're deciding. Let's see if this is gonna work. No way, Margie. Did you say up? Oh my goodness, look, we've got an up, a down, a down, and up, a down. So down's winning, down, down, up. Nice, Farrington, is that dessert? Your last course? Oh, Cat, I'm sure he was. You can't, Margie, I'm not letting you leave. Oh, Farrington says up. I'm sorry, you guys, down one. Down one. We have to be diplomatic about it. We have to, this is a democracy here in creepy baby world. <laughs> Dang it. But Margie Pink. Ooh, a gooey sugar cookie. Jennifer Jane, are you, are you double voting? We'll have none of that here. <laughs> oh, fishy face is up. Oh, good grief. Yeah, so pink, Margie. The pink is staying with creepy baby on this side. So, look, oh, up is winning now. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm going to glue down the door. Wait for any more um, votes to come in. Once I put the hinges on, we're not going to be able to open the door. So, if you guys want to take a peek one last time, are you ready? Vote early and often. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Well, you can't really because it's pitch dark, but take my word for it. That um, wallpaper is perfect. Carla, that is a sizable cookie. Sideways laying down, balancing on the hand. Well, that would be odd. <laughs> Look, it's a circus baby. <laughs> Margie, do you want it down? I like the circus, baby. It is adorable in a very creepy way. That's the whole point, Elle, you know. Duncan's, Duncan Hines does not screw around about stuff like that. Yes, Peggy, glue will make the diamond look so much bigger. That's why they call it paste jewelry. Jennifer, <laughs> Margie might have voted five times. <sighs> we are not cutting the baby in half, Candy. No babies are going to be harmed. <laughs> hey, Nicole. <laughs> Candy's getting all bloodthirsty. You've missed everything. You've missed all the technical difficulties. You've missed the hilarity. You've missed me sniffing a million times. And we're so glad you're here. She is the Solomon of creepy babies. I was thinking of that, Margie. I don't think it worked out well in that case either. Ah, Kat didn't know what she was voting for. 
You're a good woman. Kay is eating broccoli. All right, you know what? This Fabrotac bottle is starting to really work my last nerve. Yeah, it's not the Rona. It's the allergies. It's okay, Nicole. It's, um, yeah, it's the allergies. This has just been, well, since we moved to Farmington, weirdest damn weather ever. Oh, no, Nicole, they'll be a little more fun, I'm sure. We have some new friends, lurkers that have come out from the dark, so to speak. A new friend that Margie invited. It's been fabulous around here. If I could cut his left, oh, he could hold the baby. If I can find it, I could print another. It, it would look like a papoose. Creepy baby Thursday. I'm cheating. Wait, am I cheating on creepy baby? Oh, it would be like a papoose. Like one of those weird baby front packs. <laughs> I don't know where the image is. Why are you, oh, 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 Laura, you're on painkillers. Of course you're confused. What are you confused about, honey bunny? You guys, let's make up some stuff to tell Laura and really. Oh, it's a diet cheat day. Thursdays are diet cheat days. Good to know. In case I decide to go on a diet, but I'm good. I'm all set. <laughs> there. So I'm putting the bottom one down. I'm using Fabri-Tac. Sometimes I forget to tell you what I'm even doing in Creepy Baby. <laughs> That's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> Pocket. Oh, cat, that's a super good one. Put your puppy pads down beneath the credence. <laughs> no way, Farrington. Yeah, that's a really good one. Cat keeps knocking it right out of the park. Okay. Don't know if it would hold up in a stiff breeze, but it's not bad. It's kind of hard to work in the dark here. I might have missed the mark a little bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got one more video in the Christmas in July, August, whenever series, because I'm almost done with it. Oh, it's right here. And then um, I have that new project that I made this afternoon where I had to go get the spray paint. Um, I have that, so I'll do a video on that. Are there a million people on live tomorrow? Oh, uh, thanks, L. Wait till you see the new project. You're going to like it. Let's just say I solved my napkin storage problem. Oh, L, uh, Nana, it was so good. Thank you for asking. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That is a crime, and I think it might be punishable by death, fishy face. <gasps> Hell, go live tomorrow. Oh, no, you're leaving tonight, aren't you? Thanks, you guys. You know, I really, I love making videos, and I try so hard. Elle is so good about it. If you're not subscribed to Never Hopeless by Elizabeth, go check her out. Nicole Relax Cut Glue. Check out her channel, Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. Check each other out. Well, Angie, watch out because I've got a way to store them. And I do try to. Laughing Dogs Book Nook, who's going to be reopening her store someday. How's that going, Laura? But I've got a way I, that I'm going to store them. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Bill. Um, I'm making one for napkins. One for bags, you know, like little gift bags and stuff. And one for envelopes. 
because those are all things that have outgrown their containers and um, are starting to like fall back behind my bookshelf and getting all cr crumpled up. And you just wait, Carrie, you just wait. It's good stuff. Okay, why is hubby going to the hospital? Olivia just showed me Nestle Mila. That's Australian, isn't it? It's like malted milk, right? Deb, you've been buying Happy Potter stuff? <laughs> Renee is not down with the chocolate. She says, no way. You guys, look how adorable our door is. Yes, that's, yeah, it smelled like it, Carla. It's been weird here without the girls. Can I change subjects one more time? Eh. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Nicole, you always want tacos. You and Elizabeth. Ah, good cat. So it's all good, good stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Thanks, guys. Now everybody wants tacos. Except Carrie needs tacos. No guacamole. Avocados are grody. All right, guys. So this is looking good. So now we have, well, we can put some fabric down. Let's do some fabric because I still don't know where to put the baby. I don't know where the file. I don't even know if I kept the file for the uh, mummy. I just found it on the internet. Thanks, guys. Hey, Sharon. You do love you some tacos, Elle. We know that. Chocolate tacos. KFC. Oh, nothing wrong with that. All right. I have to find a tissue. It's right behind me, guys. I'll be right back. I hope it's not just like pollen -y up here all the time. I hope it's the weird weather this year. Uh oh, we got Carrie all hungry. Oh, good. Well, I mean, as good as it can be, Kat. That's good news. All right. So let's see here. We have the gray fabric over here, and this came from one of Laura's fabulous fabric packs, fabric rings, pizza rolls, turkey dinner casserole, and a gooey sugar cookie. That is a super odd combination, Farrington. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks, Margie. Good to know. I'm pretty, pretty psyched up about that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe we should. It's such a big room, though, Nicole. Do they, you know, do a good amount of room? Sorry about that weird circle, guys. In The light in the middle is the sun, and I can't make it move. <laughs> Strange, but not a stranger. That's right. All right. So some nice, creepy gauze. Do you guys love how the door looks? Awesome, Laura. Good. You guys, make sure you subscribe to Laughing Dogs Book Nook, Laura, if you're not as well. Um, when she does videos, they're stinking fabulous. And um, her shop, she has amazing stuff. And buy it now before she smartens up on the prices. I'm just saying. Yeah, Carrie, I, I'm, I've got that on my list to move the sun. <laughs> Thanks, Kay. I would open it to show you the fabulous wardrobe inside, but since I just glued the hinges, I don't think I want to miss with it. Yes. Fishy face will let us know, won't you? We could cover up because we have, if we take this off, oh, you guys, that might solve the mummy problem. I think originally we were going to put the creepy baby over here anyway. You know what? 
I think we were. Hey, Colleen. Yeah, I know, Farrington, we did move into a whole different ecosystem. And, well, it is Farmington. <laughs> oh, good, Kay. I'm glad you saw the inside fabulousness. Oh, I remember that, L. You guys, I think that might have been it. That's why we didn't have the problem with up or down before, because I think the creepy baby goes over here. Because it's the weird combo. Creepy baby and mummy. I think we're going to need to ink this. Colleen, we're, we're um, crafting in the dark tonight. It's all the rage now. <laughs> It's, it's the latest craze in crafting, craft in the dark. Okay, not really. That's a lie. I know you did, Margie, in your mind. In my mind, I heard it, obviously. It won't, though, because we'll mash the baby down. I think we're going to be okay, pockets. And the baby can take a little abuse. I mean, oh, is it? Elle, it looks to me like there is... Uh, see, oh, you got a peek of the wardrobe. Looks like there's a big light circle right there. I was so excited. I thought the ring light was going to solve all of our problems. Oh, you guys, what about that? Where's our button? Our button. Because Pockets likes buttons as much as she likes Pockets almost. Oh, Farrington. Yep. Yes, don't shake Jake. <laughs> you can take a look at it and keep on ticking. Uh-oh. All right, Carrie, you run. Quick, before Honey gets home. You go do before Honey gets home. Thank you for coming, Honey. Yes, pockets, just not on the floor. I know, Elizabeth, that's what they all say. <laughs> okay, that's wrong. Oh, but look. It looks good to me in the dark. We're covering up one of our little um, hinge buttons, but you know what? I'm okay with that. What do you guys think? Should we glue it? Should we glue it? I don't think Laura Jersey is here, Alora. Wasn't she on for a good part of this afternoon? I was out and about, so. Glue it, glue it. All right, we need just a little bit of black. Pocket says glue it. Yay! I like it a lot. So we just need a little bit of our black creepy Fabric, whatever this stuff is called. I don't want a ton. We ended up with quite a ball of it up there, but that's all right. Colleen, are you going on tomorrow morning? <laughs> yeah, Colleen, Laughing Dog's book nook is on painkillers. You can tell her all kinds of crap and she'll believe it. Oh, Pockets, I didn't see her pop in. Thank you for telling me. 87, if you're lurking, I'm sorry I missed you this afternoon. Oh, I don't know a Laura Schimmel. Colleen, that's not that's not our Laura. Not laughing. Well, our Laura's. Laughing Dog's book nook is not a Schimmel. I don't know why I took out the Fabri-Tac. I don't want to use it. It's making me mad. All right, L. Thank you so much for coming. Tell Beauty Queen I said happy, happy birthday, you old lady. And um, I will speak to you very soon. Have a safe, a safe trip tonight. Okay. I think I want it down here too. Because then we kind of are offsetting the heaviness of the black up here. Can you guys see what I'm saying? Is that a real thing? Am I telling a true story? I'm just spreading out these lumps and bumps. 
I find with this black creepy cloth, because it's so tangled and everything, it's better to lightly tack it down in kind of a ball and then let the glue dry. Then once it dries, go and pull a little bit more out and glue that and let it dry and just kind of do it in stages. Otherwise, it really fights back. Of course, I think the whole giant bag was $1.99 at Michael's. So, you know. And it sure does look cool. All right. I'm doing it. We're going in. I know, pockets. Have I turned over a new leaf? <laughs> Use powder sugar glaze as glue. Right. I don't think so, Farrington, because then, you know. It'll be the creepy baby book complete with ants. Because, well, not only is Farmington very um, pollen-y, man, are there a lot of bugs here. <laughs> All right, Kat, go get some food. I'm just going to move this so we don't end up gluing anything to the clip. I'll put it back on when we get... Uh, when we get to the doneness. I know, right? <laughs> Margie, you know what? Coincidentally, I have an idiot problem. It's that I'm an idiot. I'm learning to roll with it, though. I think I want the paper underneath. Oh, Elizabeth K., thank you for coming. I'm sorry I drove away all the Elizabeths. We're going to finish it up this week, Elizabeth. We'll have to start a new one. I don't know. What's our next spread going to be? <laughs> Renee, they must really enjoy that. Nice, Farrington, but can't you? Oh, we're losing a Laura, too. Laura, thank you so much for coming, honey. Feel better. I will speak to you tomorrow. Take care of that tooth. Tell hubby I said hi. I think I'm done bossing you around for the moment. I'll message you if I need to boss you around more. I know, man, it's been a hell of a... 2020's been a hell of a thing. <laughs> I think the bug thing is really that I live in the country more than I did. I don't believe it's, you know... We lived on the coast and we lived in a fairly suburban area. We're suburban here, sort of, but not really. It's really a lot more rural. Oh, Farrington. Oh, my God. Yep, a little hard to glue in the dark. Isn't it going to be sad if we open this book in the non-shaking ring light and it just looks absolutely like ass? And you guys find out that I really screwed it up. That's going to be bad. Bye, Laura. Thanks for coming, honey. Yes, it's rural suburbia. Well, I mean, I live right downtown Farmington is right south of me, as downtown as it can be. Um, it's a great, it's a great town. <laughs> and you know what? College students are starting to come back a little bit. I guess they're going to do hybrid but they are going to have some in-person classes so there's a little bit a little bit of life kicking around which um you know i can't control so i'm going to say yay right not my call all right so i'm just using my tim holtz pokey tool and i'm pulling this gauze and stretching it first of all to shred it up a little more and i want it sticking out of the book and I think, <laughs> you know what we're going to do? Oh, nice, Angie. I hope you're having a nice rest. Yeah, should we put a few of these rosettes? Wait, I can't find them in the dark. <laughs> yes, like that, Farrington. Um, should we put a couple of the rosettes up here and hang them off? I think that might be upside down. No, nope, that's the right way. Oh, you guys, what do you think? I'm thinking I like it. I like it a lot. Should we do some right here and some right here? Because I'm thinking we should. 
Huh? Uh, I'm cutting. You guys better speak now or forever hold your peace. Forever hold your pee, Peggy Pockets. Margie, you think so? Awesome. This, oh, this is somewhere I have some, a very small piece of vintage um, black lace rosettes, and I don't know where it is. This is not it. Farrington, I'm not making a wreath out of rosettes. You come here and make me a wreath. Sheesh, bub. All right. I'm hoping this is the right side up. I'm scooting it off so we got some other pokey stuff out of the, bo the book. You know, I love that. I know you could, Farrington. You can do anything. Hey, Denise Joe, did I say hi to you already? <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm pretty excited, you guys. Just letting this sit, sit up, set up. Uh, this this black lace pocket. Need a little bit more. Just a little. Oh, I didn't, I didn't not see you then. Good, Denise. And hello, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so lazy. God, Margie's so lazy. You don't even know. Yeah, I was just waiting for, uh, for parts of it to dry. I'm spreading it out a little bit at a time, Peggy. We may end up giving it a haircut. I might have gotten a little heavy handed with it. I think I want to wait until the light is better before I start slashing and burning. <laughs> What do you think about that? Does that sound reasonable? And I do want, I'm going to put a smaller piece over here um, because we do have that chunk there. And I think that's going to look kind of fabulous. Pockets, did you tell me if you're going to get to go to Boston after all? By the light of the shining moon. Is it still a full moon tonight? Or has it gone by? Yeah. Right. This is really lightweight, you guys, so I'm not worried about using my Fabri-Tac. I'm just getting the tool pushed in there. Again, not worried about making sure that it's really all the way down as long as it's going to hold. I don't mind if it's flapping in the breeze a little bit. Not one bit. It was, it was Tuesday night, was it, Candy? Darn it. We've been overcast, and Tuesday night we had that wacky storm. I know, Nana, right? Sharks, bugs, and tropical storms. What the hell? I don't really live in Maine, do I? It's just weird. All right. So, yeah, look at that. Oop, knocked it loose, but we've got some of the gray sticking out with some fraying bits. Oh, Gail, thanks for coming. Have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Yes, Margie, we were looking at your uh, uh, the real moon. Oh, pockets. Good. You let me know, and I'm sorry that you're not able to come now. Yes, I got it from you in New Jersey. Great candy. All right. So that's hanging over that. I'm liking. And I love this, just that little bit. And we've got our creepster, the creepster. I don't really want the creepster to hang off the edge. I am going to leave that little brown bit, though. Hmm. I didn't want her to be bumped into the hinge, but you know what? I think I, I think I can live with it. What do you guys think? Can you live with it? I don't want to stress anyone out. I'm loving this layout. I'm hoping we can pull some of this across. Oh, we can. Goody. Yeah, this glue in the middle is still wet. I want to let that dry before I start yanking on it again. It's parfait. Perfect. Hey, Deidre. It's stressing you out, Nicole? 
Well, I knew it would stress you out, Margie. <laughs> I meant everyone else. My glue. You know what? I'm at the end of all my glue, you guys. Lori B. Hey, darling. No, you may not say that. Quick, someone block Lori B. She's cussing and saying dirty stuff. She needs a knife in her hand. You are so bloodthirsty, Candy. Heck no, CB. Tell them you're, you're out of business. You're, you're bankrupt. Chapter 11 at CB's house, she pays nothing. How about that? Does that work for you? Thank you, Jennifer. Kay's back. Elisa. Oh. <laughs> well, because Elisa, we're, we're crafting in the dark. It's really not a strawberry. It's just a little piece of one of the doll uh, clothes that I cut out because the clo inside the closet's so bright. I just wanted to bring a little bit of the pink out here. I hope that when we're done, it doesn't look so strawberry-ish. And if it does, we'll just glue something over it. It'll be fine. But because I can't see what I'm doing, I'm afraid to do anything too, um, well, you know, <laughs> anything too crazy. That's not even true. I'm not afraid. I do crazy stuff all the time. <laughs> oh, you know, all I have done is lie tonight. Thursday night, Carla Farrington says it's cheat on your diet night. And apparently it's tell lies night. Oh, no, pockets, that stinks. All right, just pressing that baby down. Yes, drastic. I didn't want to do anything too drastic. Thank you, Margie. Lori, have you seen inside the coffin closet? Because it looks pretty cool in there. Oh, who's allergic to strawberries? I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Yes, lies. All lies, Margie. <laughs> oh, Farrington, I'm sorry. I think I knew that. I don't think I even know my own damn name tonight. Yes, it's a haunted strawberry in case Creepy Baby gets hungry. All right. I think Creepy Baby's mashed down pretty well. Um, oh, I didn't put my pin in my sad remainder of my glue. <gasps> Lori, you guys, do you think it's safe to try to open the closet? Do you think it's dried? Shut it, Margie. Oh, CB, that's hard to not be able to communicate. I know. That's what I was thinking. Thanks, Elisa. Now it looks like a strawberry. Angie, my name is Stephanie Brock. Only when I'm in trouble, though. Stephanie Brock. Stephanie Brock Schnocky. Ooh, that gave me shivers even when I said it. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to open it. Lori, are you watching? Really, Kat? I don't know if I could. I, every page we do is my favorite until we do the next one. Look at that. Lori, look. It's got a, well, you can't see because we're crafting in the dark, but it's got the floating onesie. We put Tim Holt's wallpaper in the back. That was Fishy Face's fabulous idea. Oh, Carrie, you wash dishes fast, girl. Oh, yeah, it's a bad feeling, right, Candy? Farrington, I think I know what that means. Oh, look, the door stays open. Cool. Oh, you know what? I didn't leave enough overhang between the door and the um, cutting, the opening, and so it sticks a little bit, but it'll be fine. I know, but you know what, Margie, I was just about to say, we can't um, Stabilo tonight and uh, we can't finish pulling the lace across because there's so much glue. Well, Margie, it's blending in because I'm sitting here in the pitch dark. Oh, Lisa, look, inside the coffin is the creepy baby's wardrobe. Can you see? I'm afraid to open it too far. Yes, there's political correctness inside the coffin, Elisa. 
<laughs> it's all right, Kay. I like puppy kisses. Oh, yep. There we go. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. Darling, hello, lovey. It's our darling fiend, Darla. So, yeah, you guys, I think all it's going to take now. Oh, our button. Oh, hell, we almost forgot the button. I think all it's going to take now is um, Stabilo and spreading out the lace. I'll work on spreading the lace out during the week um, so that, you know, we'll get it. I'll try to get it spread across here and everything, because as I said, you really want to do it um, in kind of stages and let it dry a little bit before you pull more. I know I'm touching the button. <laughs> um, oh, this doesn't want to come out at all. I hate buying glue. I mean, as much as I love glue and all the glue I use, I don't like buying it. It's no fun. All right. Oh, yeah. I like that. It almost makes the creepy baby look like she has another head. And I always enjoy that. Someone said butt. Cool. Denise, are you asking me about the electric? It is not. We did not lose our power. We had some crazy wind and some crazy rain. Oh, Margie said butt. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Did she call me a butt, Carrie? Because, you know, and she paid her five bucks. So that's her salty tax. All right. So I think all that's left to do is do our Stabilo, which is going to look fabulous. And I agree. I think we need to Stabilo around the coffin. Um, but when we're not doing it in the dark, it's going to stand out a little more, too. Darla, we're crafting in the dark tonight. We're starting a new trend. <laughs> Uh, so we'll do that and we'll stretch it that lace and then I think we can date it. The official, official flip party for creepy baby. All right, Angie, I'm going to wrap it up too, hun. Stay safe. Have a good night. Um, so yeah, I think we better all start thinking about what we're going to do next because oh, <laughs> Darla, I got a new ring light. Nam bought me a ring light, which is fabulous. Uh, and I recorded with it yesterday. Worked great. Tonight, you know, the camera is hooked to the same apparatus. The camera was vibrating. And I, I couldn't make it stop. Um, and so we just turned off the ring light. And we're just crafting in the dark. Yes, crafting by candlelight. It's romantic and creepy. We do have it all here at Recreations by Brooke. So yeah, you guys start thinking what our next layout's going to be. For real, it has to be flat. I so appreciate you all. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. Love you all. Don't forget if you go to watch this as a video later. I know I keep telling you, but I'm so excited. I got an applaud button on YouTube. That's, that's exciting stuff. I don't know how my channel got chosen, but when you're watching a video, if there's an applaud button, it's like, um, it's like super chat during a live. So if you enjoy a video, you can make a contribution. CB, I couldn't find it. I found your page. I have to go look again. I must have just been looking at it and not seeing it. Oh, the creepy baby's bedroom. Oh, it's true. Pockets will dress in black for the, the creepy baby flip party. <laughs> it's not on here. It's if you're going to watch a video, it's, it's the same as doing a super chat in a live. When you watch a video back, um, the applaud button is down with the share and thumbs up and everything. I didn't even know Elizabeth told me that I had it because it's a new feature that YouTube is trying out. It's in beta and they just chose a very few channels to try it out on and poof, it showed up on my channel. I was like, wow, did you guys just see something run right there? 
What the hell was that? Okay, I'm freaking myself out now. I have to go turn the light on. Did you see that? <laughs> yep, we're going to do a bedroom with the autopsy table as her bed. We still have to do Scarletta. And, um, oh, thanks, Nicole. And we still have the spine and a dangle and the cover. We got, we got a ways to go here. That's a good idea, Jennifer. And thank you so much. Oh, we'll decorate black hats. Those of us that went to the road show can wear our, our tiny baby hats. Yes. Okay. You can make a button. So again, you guys, I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties, but think how exciting it will be to see our page in the actual light. Uh, and thank you for sticking with me. I love you so much. You're so much fun. This was great tonight. I really enjoyed myself and I hope you did as well. So stay well. Oh, thanks, Carla. Stay safe. Stay well. If possible, stay home. You know, the usual. And uh, I did two pockets. Thank you so much. I will see you guys really soon. Oh, you're welcome, Eileen. Eileen, you were suspiciously quiet. It makes me feel a little nervous. Darla, I'm so glad you could pop over. All of you. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. It's always hard to end because we're always having so much fun. <laughs> I'll come back soon and watch out for the napkin storage project. You're going to like it. Night, guys.